like that. Um, I don't even know if this is going to be anything because I don't know how much I'm going to film. Hello, people of the internet. Today, I am going to write a play in one night. So, we're gonna do that. I should explain what 24 hour theatre is. So 24 hour theatre is like, I think it's a thing that's done like all over the world. Basically you like put on a, like a show in 24 hours. So the one I'm doing, the way we're doing it, I don't know if this is the same everywhere. So there's seven writers and we each are gonna write a 10 minute play um, that's gonna be performed as a short play exhibition tomorrow night. We get like a stimulus and everything once we get there and we get assigned a cast of of actors that we're going to write for and then we spend all night writing it tomorrow they spend all day rehearsing and then the show is tomorrow night um yeah i'm very nervous very stressed a bit worried about my ability to focus because i don't work in like large chunks of time at the moment i do like maybe two hours max at a time so Kind of worried about that but all of the writers are working like in the same space so i'm really excited for that so that should be helpful because i can't just be like playing on my phone while people are working we're also getting pizza so i'm excited about that i just finished rehearsal So I'm gonna have a nap before I stay up all night because I do have um, a rehearsal, like a dance rehearsal tomorrow after staying up all night writing. So um, this is a book I'm reading at the moment. It's really good. Um, not really relevant to this, but it it's a good book. I would recommend it. I was super, super excited when I like applied and got chosen. Now that I'm actually here, like about to do it, I'm less excited, I'm a bit more like nervous, stressed, like wanting it to be good. I was talking to one of the other writers the other night and who had like, who's like done it like many times. And he was like, there's like not really like as much expectation from the audience and from everyone because it's only in 24 hours, which didn't help because uh, I don't care. I still want it to be perfect. I don't know what else. I want to say about this but it's happening it's a thing I am doing it yeah I'm gonna go have a nap now voice over Sarah again because I didn't film anything at 24 hour theater because there's like lots of people around but anyway so I'm just gonna quickly voice over the last bit of my footage and then I'll just talk about 24 hour and the experience and a bit about the play I wrote when I got there um, we had the whole thing like on stage with uh, presenting like the teams. We got to have a little get together with our team of actors. They got to like tell me a bit about themselves and like what type of characters they like to play. If there was anything that they wanted me in particular to write for them, you know, strengths and weaknesses. And then, and then, and then I wrote it. So one of the ways I like to think about things is, is when, when I do improv, when I do improv, it's like, a great way for me to think. I don't know why. So I was in the theater and I was like, I need to go find somewhere to improv without people being like, stop. So I went into like the little back, um, um, little like one of the dressing rooms and just improv for a bit and thought about my play. And then I went back out there and I was like, now I can write. You awake? Yeah. <laughs> Happy with your work so far? How it's coming along? Yeah. 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 I see you've um, stolen a writing assistant. I have. Who doesn't understand that you're meant to be awake. He's but... been very helpful. Um, <laughs> he was sitting over there before because I didn't And you lured him over. Yeah. And that took about three hours. Yeah, that took about three hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I, I was done with, with like my first draft. I was just like making edits and stuff at this point. But I was like so dead. But, and then... Um, it got to like 4 a.m. And I was like, I was, I could have still made edits and stuff. Like there's still things I could have done, but I was like, everything I'm doing from this point is just like, it's not improving it at all. 
I'm just sitting, waiting um, to get picked up to go home. And then I went home and I slept for a couple of hours and then I went to rehearsal. And then I went to see the show in the evening. So that was my day. It was interesting. So 24 hour as an experience. Um, I will say I was probably the least experienced writer there out of everyone. I was the youngest to, for starters. I was the youngest and I was the, like the least experienced, but it was nice. There was um a couple of the um, more experienced writers. There was a few of them. And there was two of them that were in the foyer with us and they were being very, they were very helpful, um, you know, with, like giving ideas and advice and stuff. So that was nice. It, it was really nice to sit with other writers because I don't know that many writers because I'm very new to it. I'm not, don't have much experience. And so being able to like talk to more experienced writers I found was like so helpful. It was just really nice as well to be like, oh wow, I'm not the only crazy one. Um, the actual performance, um, I will say the play didn't go kind of how I planned or how I hoped for. And that had a lot to do, I think, with my style and the actors I got was that um, my team leader was very comedy based. And so a lot of it became very comedy based just because that's what he did. But like, I don't write comedy. And so, and a couple people remarked on this, but there was very much like that kind of like um, clash of genres between us that kind of came about because it was so like quick I guess um so yeah that happened but I was yeah I, I was like fairly happy with how it went like it, it went good they got like the main ideas across the actors did well I've, I I liked the way they staged it there was just that genre thing which was I think the the like the biggest issue We're doing it again um at the end of this month in Short and Sweet, which is a festival that, and we've ha I've had to re recast one of the roles we've had to recast. And this time I'm co-directing with my team leader. And I think that's gonna work really well because then um, when he starts going off way too comedy, I can like pull him back. But then, you know, a bit of comedy here and there is very helpful. So like having those jokes and stuff to kind of like offset the more like drama seriousness that is in the play. So I think that's gonna work really well. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in, but I don't, I didn't actually really want to direct. Like I am interested in directing in the future, but I didn't want to direct this one. I just said that I would direct because I was getting left out of all of the decisions being made about the play. Um, so yeah, that's the only really down, like that's the downside to this experience because the other work I've done has only been with one company and that company like, they're great like they are my favorite people they're so so good good at like mentoring but still giving me like autonomy like anyway but yeah so because this is the first time doing work not with the company I've always worked with before I, I was a little bit like oh yeah you know this is what being a young woman is like you know people not taking you seriously um and kind of especially with me, both because I look a lot younger than I am and because I guess my personality is a little bit more like non-confrontational, maybe a little bit more childish. Um, just like, yeah, like being seen as like, you know, a competent, a, a competent person I found was a bit difficult. So anyway, that's just a little rant, but I'm probably not gonna put that in because I am so scared of people find this but no one's gonna find this so maybe I will I didn't mention anyone by name even if they probably know that I'm talking about them if they watch this or maybe they don't because they seem to still think there's nothing wrong with everything I'm not going to talk about what this one's about because the performance is still to go but little premise I guess it's kind of about it's about like um it's about ghosts from the past and um, thinking about your past. Yeah, that's kind of the premise, I guess. And that's all I have to say about that. It was an experience. Um, I've had so many writing things at the moment, or like theater things. Well, not at the moment, it, like a month ago, I had a lot of stuff on and I was very busy and very stressed. Why, well, okay. See, here's the thing. I never think I'm that busy, but then I'm like, you know, I kind of am. 
I just like I do things in a lot shorter time than other people because I leave things till the last minute because I need pressure. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Um, because I was scared that I wouldn't get it done because I'm not good at like working in long periods of time or like when I need to. I think like the pressure kind of, well not the pressure but the more like last minute I was like yeah this is how I work anyway um and being with other people definitely helped would I do it again I, I I think I would um yeah but I think I don't know I it's difficult because I am planning on moving to another place next year um I don't know if I'd want to do it like anywhere else anyway that's it uh